it doesn't actually stand for anything. We, we used to be called the Dirty Mars when we started off, and at, like we just kind of just sort of, you know, tightened yeah, it up. Just stop caring about it. It's like it's like what's in the name really? It doesn't make any sense, you know. And it's just like, and it's kind of cool because it looks whack, and I kind of like that. It looks different. I'm a big Jeff Tweedy fan. He's from Wilco um, and Springsteen. Kind of growing up on lots of kind of country music. That kind of vibe. Dinosaur Jr. Okay. I'm a huge, huge fan. Probably not. Th I'm not saying that they're like my, they're like my favorite band. But mm -hmm. in, as far as songwriting is concerned, on the songwriting that I bring to this band, mm -hmm. I think they're big, a huge influence. For me, I grew up with a lot of English bands, um, Stone Roses and Oasis and the Lars and bands like that. So. Um, yeah, they were pretty important for when we first started. You guys are part of the of the Britpop scene, really. You sort of your vibe is, uh, if you don't mind me saying, quite Britpop. DMA's done a new band, or they might be old band out here, but like they've played in England, so we've had a couple of beers with them out there. Apparently they're kind of, they sound a bit like Oasis, and uh, which clearly must mean they're fucking amazing. You know, maybe sometimes it's easier being overseas and when there's lots and lots of bands in the UK and maybe people will take notice if you're doing a sound that you're not actually, you know, you're not from, from the UK, you're from the other side of the play world. And so maybe in some ways it's easy to come in, but to be honest, we've just kind of been focusing on our, our live show and, and uh, keep focusing on our writing so we can knock this second, second record out. The best songs we write are the ones that we write, the three of us. Yeah, okay. So Mason will bring in an idea, we'll be in my living room, and then he'll start pumping out some chords, and then we're all like throwing melodies out there. Mm. And then, you know, I'll have a guitar as well. Uh, uh, even if, for instance, if um, Johnny writes a song by himself, we don't trade it like that. We just, yeah, of course. It's just like, it Gets might absorbed. as well have been a collaboration. It That's doesn't it. like... Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, yeah, we stated that when we first started writing together, and we're going to stick with by that forever. Yep. I think it kind of takes a bit of a different meaning when you start playing it live. In regard, like, you know, you're not thinking about, not gonna like start crying and like fucking thinking about like, you know, how maybe sad or happy or whatever you were when you wrote it. It's just, you kind of appreciate that people have have gotten something out of it as well if when they're, if they're singing along and stuff like that. Don't forget about the stars, the sky. You stood as the end of golden sunlight that shines. And just the way to figure out the way to night. Is wrong. It's like the river water wraps up through the rain. It's not just the way to figure out.
Mason wrote Delete when he was 19, which, you know, was over about a decade ago. The best songs we write are the ones that we write, the three of us. Yeah, okay. So Mason would bring in an idea, we'll be in my living room, and then he'll start pumping out some chords, and then we're all like throwing melodies out there. The rain, the snow. It's been a bit of a process with this band, so like, you know, we've strongly focused on songwriting, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, it's, the response has been nice, you know, but uh, we try not to get too excited. Yeah. Cool. We want to be in this in this game for the long haul, you know. Yeah, yeah. Don't leave my baby. Won't you always fly? 